Hey guys, I couldn't sleep again, so I've been up crafting for the last few hours, and uh, I switched my game up a little bit. Um, I had been doing clutches, DIY clutches, for a while now, and I have a whole bunch of them, so I kind of like laid off of those for a little while, um, and uh, I was looking for something to get myself into. And I decided that my next uh, hurrah was going to be studs. Not the dudes. Not the men. Uh, studs. You know, spiky studs. And um, I see them all over the place. I'm seeing them all over the place. And usually I'm not a trendy chick. Uh, one, I like to shop in thrift stores too much to you know, really focus on what's in for right now. I like um, to go into a thrift store and find something that nobody else has, a color nobody else has, and just, you know, do me with my thrifting. You guys understand that. Um, so, the only reason I'm aware of the trends is because of my magazines like InStyle and People Style Watch and that type of thing. And, um... I don't usually fall for trends. Uh, another reason being I don't like to spend money on something that is going to look ridiculous in the next season or maybe something I'll only be able to wear for like a year and then it's just going to go in the closet or in the donate pile, right? But every now and then I come across a trend that I really, really like. And studs and all the studs I've been seeing on accessories and shoes and bags and everything is kind of like really, really, I'm really liking it. And uh, it takes me back to like late 80s, early 90s, just like making me feel nostalgic. And because uh, I thrift so much, I keep finding belts with studs, different sizes, uh, different sharpness on the points. And I buy them for 99 cents, usually at Goodwill. And I pull all the studs off the belts and I have bags, you guys. I have bags of studs, different sizes, itty bitty ones, um, medium sized ones and really large ones. I don't know if you have some on one or two of my clutches, but I was like, what am I doing with bags full of studs? What am I going to do with them? So I started looking around the house and came across some things that I DIY'd in the last few hours. Um, let me show you guys. This is a pair of boots that I've had for years. Years and years. A simple little black suede boot with a little um, leather strappies. Um, and I stopped wearing them because there was like, they were kind of boring, you know. I just stopped wearing them because I love the crisscross strap, but they don't really pop. You can't really see them. But I pulled out this little bag of tiny studs. And let me tell you, let me show you guys how small they are. And these were kind of hard to work with because I've cut my nails off. And, um the beds of my nails are like really sensitive but the stud is this small and I'm sitting here pushing in the stud on the boots but I like what it ended up looking like uh, I've only done one just to show you guys what uh, a difference just a few little studs can make I mean you DIYers know uh, all about this stuff you know how you can take something plain Jane and make it into something like really awesome and uh, I just thought it was neat. I spaced them a little bit apart. That way it wouldn't be so bam in your face. I'm studded. Um, and so some of the strap would show. But yeah, that's what they ended up looking like. I was thinking of uh, studying the heel. But I really don't want to do the crafty glue on here. So I think, I think I'm done. I think this is it. But I thought it came out pretty good. Considering they're like, these boots are like five years old. They were thrifted as well. And uh, now they have new life. I went from plain to this. So yeah, they have new life now. Um, I'll be wearing those soon. Another thing, one of the hauls uh, I did a couple days ago, I got uh, two of these little uh, bracelets uh, with the little studs. And I got this uh, headband. And I told you guys I was going to do something with it. And I did. I don't want to 
do this video over. Now I need to sanitize my hands. Hold on. Hold on. I sneezed in my hand. I was not ready for that. So, let me sanitize my hands right quick. Be patient, you both. Okay. Um, yeah, I didn't have a tissue ready. Anywho, um, I showed you guys the bracelet and I showed you the, the headband. And this is what I ended up with. All I did was um, pull the little bracelet apart. I thought they were individual studs, but they weren't. They're these uh, triple, they're these, these little triad groups of them. And uh, some are matte silver and some are shiny silver. I decided to use the silver ones. And this is the only way that they would lie flat since they're connected. So I just created this little uh, pointy design on them. And it looks really neat. Uh, I don't know. I guess I could try it on. Oh, I have my glasses on. So let's see how that's going to work. Hold on, you guys. Um, let me put my glasses on because I can't see. <laughs> you see? Isn't that neat? I kind of like it. It's kind of freaky. I mean, my hair's not curled and it's not like my hair's not done. But I, I, I like it. I like the way it looks. I think it's neat. I was going to do them all across the top. But uh, I thought it might look kind of dinosaur-y or something freaky like that. But I thought that was I thought that was neat. I don't know. It's just something to do. And then um, I was at the dollar store today, and that's gonna be a whole nother video. I went to the dollar store and I picked up these uh, sunglasses. Really cute little sunglasses. Uh, and the reason I picked them up was because I thought. I could tweak them out a little bit with my mid-sized studs and my large studs and that's exactly what I did so let me show you guys I've only done one one side uh, and I'll do the other one later on but this is what I did these are my large studs and then these are my mid-sized studs what I did was I unscrewed the little um, arm off arm is that what this is called I unscrewed the little arm off and um, I basically just um pinched my studs on i pinched them in and they're pretty sturdy they don't move they were moving a little so i took a little finagling with some pliers just to get it real nice and sturdy so they wouldn't be sliding around but it does work i've tried them on and they <laughs> i still have the tag on here so bear with me um they don't scrape the side of my face at all but I think it's neat. I like the way it feels. I like the way it looks. They're going to look way better when I take this thing off. I want to finish the other side. But um, what I'm thinking I might have to do is uh, put a little bit of felt right here. Cut a little piece of felt and tape it right here. Because as much as I tried to smash them down, I get a little bit of a scrape. It doesn't hurt, but I get a little bit of a scrape from the little um, pinchery things. And I don't want to jack my face up any more than it's already jacked up because I have issues with my face all of a sudden. Um, well, worse than usual. But, uh, yeah, that was just the first side. Um, I'm going to do the, 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 the next side here. It's probably what I'm going to do before I go to bed. But I don't know. I thought it was neat. I haven't seen any sunglasses out like this. Um, so maybe I've... I've come up with something. I don't know. But the sunglasses don't look like they cost a dollar. And they certainly don't look like they cost a dollar now. Uh, like I said, a little bit of felt is going to keep from scratching the side of my face. But um, that's what I've gotten myself into in the last few hours. Just blinging up stuff that I have with all these studs. And if it wasn't bad enough, like having three bags of studs isn't enough. Check out what I found at the Goodwill. Another belt with little peace sign studs. I'm thinking I'm going to make jewelry with these. I'm going to make earrings. I'm going to try and make necklaces. I'm going to try and incorporate some of the peace signs with some of the big studs. Maybe some of the medium ones. I'm not sure. But I'm definitely going to do something accessory-wise, jewelry-wise. So uh, I'll fill you guys in on that whenever I get my head straight. But uh, yeah, like I said, I couldn't sleep. So I've been up messing around and uh, I'm gonna finish my sunglasses and uh, lie down and see if I can get a few hours so until I talk to you guys uh, next time thanks for watching bye